Mimir, if I met someone I liked, how would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I, no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's, doesn't matter. Another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Enough. We'll continue later. Looks like Yari and Selma were here too. Another ingredient around here, brother. Mimir, tell me more of Yari. After leaving his family, he wandered the realms in search of something unnameable. But in all his wondrous travels, nothing satisfied him. Until. He met another wanderer in search of something similar, unnameable. He was called Somar. Let us find the final ingredient.
I'm here. You can yell at me. If you want. I'm here. What would that accomplish? Let me make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to tell me your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You need to be. The fault is mine. The hilt first battle that grave will provide. Right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat. Yeah, it was great. She wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we face, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It doesn't feel great when I try to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth from the hardest way. Yeah! <laughs> 
Take out these trains!
Wow! It's so much weaker now! <sighs> your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? My face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah. On my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? That's not just dumped. It's not dirt. <laughs> ah! on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. Look 
get all these books? An archive of knowledge. Don't see any light elves around. For now. Maybe they've left for the day. And we can browse at our leisure. Another one of Duvalin's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. Looks like the ancient elves wrote a lot. And none of the light or dark elves have seen any of this? Seems like stuff they'd want to read. It appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. traveled here when the dark elf king attacked us the ramifications were dire for his people we will not make the same mistake twice <laughs> Oh, 
Noah, uh, is true to what you meant when you asked about Viking. True? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. And, well, skilled her life through. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed. I know. Good. I'm fine. <laughs> Oh, I that one oh, like Freyr's carved into it. Maybe it's for good luck, but for use in prayer. That's all of Freyr's tributes, I'd wager. Fetch a hefty sum ah. with our dwarven shopkeepers. <laughs> 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 Behind you! Watch out! Help them! of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Doing our luck, it'll be a bit of both. <laughs> Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. Old. Finish later. Is that Freyr? Indeed it is. Wow. Big statue. Bad spot. 
odd. The runes are dark. Why would the elves build a giant statue of Freyr? Didn't they just go back to fighting each other after he left? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together. Light and dark. Which means this would have been their first night of cooperation in generations. A far cry from last in peace. But perhaps it serves as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. Didn't he have just, I don't know, cast a spell or something? Maybe things better permanently? There wasn't a spell or enchantment to leave behind. Freya's presence is what mattered. His very godhood is what brought life back to this dying land. Eventually, he had to choose Vanaheim or Alfheim. It's a tough choice. Vanaheim was his home. It's never easy to walk away from those who need you. people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. centuries of conflict. It must be found in its own time, from within. It cannot be forced. But Mom helped you find peace, right? How are the elves supposed to change if no one shows them the way? Your mother. She trusted me. Gave me the space to find my own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alfheim may not bring peace. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps I have planted the seeds. I've said it better myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. It is possible. <laughs> the massive door we found earlier. That door required two keys. Ah, so it did. Let's keep looking then. Ah! Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, Knowledge is power. Without a full picture of the context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew. would come to 
past. Ah! So when they did, they took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit the Kusama. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. Or magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive boss. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Munir. Well, I try. Jaw tries to get sore, but thank you, man. animals back to Vanaheim, or Midgard even. Specky and Svana could use the company. We have kennels. I don't know. They feel pretty happy here. Alfheim is their home. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. Did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually. But it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon. Fenrir, remember the light Father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad! A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal top. What a brilliant! locked up to begin with. Ah, Hell's Feral Sentinel. But believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Gar, then just a wee pup, got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter but before spring. And it worked for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. Mirror. How did 
did they capture Garm in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured the. Somewhere safe, he kept distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm <laughs> bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. Father? There's something angry back there. Help you! Whoa! That is right! Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, 